Here you go, Brother Blake. I'm glad you didn't let us play for us. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Sure is good to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Yeah. I'm glad to see a good crowd out to the house of the Lord. And good to see everybody here. I wish everybody else was here. Amen. But they're not. But we are. So we can just have church, can't we? Right. Yeah. So I just appreciate everybody tonight. I guess if we call names and fail, but uh, I'm just thankful for another day. Another, Amen. another. There's a, there's a song, Another Day of Life, and I'm so thankful to have that. Amen. Live it for the Lord. Brother Clifford, that's the main thing, living for the Lord. Right. Amen. Some of us had come from work, so uh, these boys make me feel underdressed. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I, you know, that's what I like about the Lord. He knows anyway. And I just appreciate him tonight. I, I'm glad I'm saved. Are you, are you glad you're saved tonight? Oh, yes. Boy, the preacher going to figure it out here in a little while if we're glad we're saved. Amen. Yeah. We'll get behind him and cheerlead Brother Blake on has the Lord been good to us all tonight? Yes. Well, praise the Lord. I'm glad tonight he had. Good to see Dustin. Have old Dustin come in. Hey, man, praise God, son. Hey, we get, hey, we're just working on the commode. I don't know if we got it done yet. Did you get that? Okay, well, we're going on. Hey, man, I'm just glad to be here tonight. And uh, I, Brandon started messing with me a while ago. I was over there playing, and I kept looking at him because I thought, did I give him an appointment tonight, too? <laughs> And the last time he was here, I, I double booked, and I didn't, didn't mean to, but we had preaching anyway. Praise the Lord. Amen. Good to be oh, good to be here tonight, seriously. And let's all, Will and Candace, come up around the altar at this time. I know we got many in needs tonight, and uh, I don't want you to hold back. If you got a testimony, let it rip, and we'll get right behind you. Amen. Uh, I know we all got lost. Still revival's coming up starting Monday. Well, we're going to actually go down on Sunday night from the church and be down there and so I'm just so remember this uh, starting a tent revival and uh, we just we just we're, man we're just looking forward to it God's opened up every door and uh, just seemed like people just pitched in and and really just give and give their time and things like that and God just helped us amen the adversary oh he's always around yeah, yeah. and when I would do good that's what Jesus said ain't it? he said when I do good and he said I found a new law didn't he it was when I would do good, he was always present. There's something about doing good. When you're trying your best, the devil will bother you. If you'll sit real still and don't do nothing. That's right. See, he don't care how much you come to church, and he don't care how much you even carry your Bible. It's when you start opening your Bible right. and participating in the house yes. of God. That's when you stir the enemy. Right. Amen. So I say stir him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Right. Amen. Anything else before we pray? One of them teachers down there at Jenny's old school. Anybody else? That good, yeah. Remember that. Anybody else? Sure. That was the fellow that stood by the trash can over when we had to meet. Okay. All right. Anybody else? I'm glad to say and thank the Lord for bringing my family back there tonight. Mm-hmm. So pray for me because I'm starting to shoot. I got two, you know, we have two sisters. My brother-in-law was up to one this way, two the wrong way. Mm-hmm. The same thing. My sister put him in the service in the first few minutes, so he just been out in the middle of that. So I thank the Lord that he did it tonight. Mm-hmm. Amen. Anybody else? Amen. Remember this. 
Anything else? Bless you, brother. That's right. Like old Paul, I've been a thorn in the flesh, praise God. I love him, man. We all do. Amen. You know, I thank God that we call on him, Charlie. Praise yeah. God. He'll hear his smile. Yeah. I'm glad that he hears me. I feel like I'm so worthless. Yeah, I'm not praise the Lord. I can feel it. Yeah. It's just amazing how God yeah. loves us anyway. Yeah. He does, yeah. he loves us anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're nothing rich and vile. God still loves us. Yeah, sir. Thank Amen. God. I can call him my Savior. Amen. My Lord. Amen. Yes. You're right. Bless you, Clifford. Yeah. yeah. Bless him, Lord. Yeah. I don't know who he is tonight. Yeah, I'm not just I'm not saved by the devil, praise God, but I'm saved by the Lord. Praise God, there's a difference today. Yeah, man. Man. Sure are. It's an oh-so yeah, sign. Praise God, if you get this thing, bless God, you get in you'll it. know about it. You'll yeah, be the same way you used to be. You're but right. God will change you want to. You'll change where you go. Yeah. He'll change yeah. what you do, bless God. He'll yeah. change what you say. I could not my mouth would have gone to the You're right. I couldn't help it. Amen. I said, I'm such a man. I had my parts. God, I don't do that no more. Glory to God. I, I talk about the Lord. I make him love Charlie because I, he died for me. Miles, he he gave all parts to God. Worthy. He did the whole Amen. thing. I, he said, behold, I make the whole thing new. Let God make the whole thing new. Glory to God. I got something to shout about there. Glory to God. What he does Bless you, Clifford. I can tell you and talk for all that. Probably what God does to me. His grace is amazing Amen. to me. I've been Amen. Back. came back to God. I've been in the plague. Well, the plague, I've been in the plague. Well, I've been in the plague. As long as I run, by the way, I love that God would still love me in the plague. Yeah. Amen. Would still want him to do with me. And I was so grateful. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord. son. I feel thank you today. Amen. Every day, praise God, he's with me. I've been slain with the grace of yeah. God. Amen. 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 He's really new with me. Praise God. Give me something. A glory to God. Praise you. Unto him, praise God. I'm praise glad. I, I'll get the song as I come to my brother. heart. Praise God. Thank God for that. I pray about that. I'm yeah. coming to my heart at work, children. I praise God. I begin to say in my mind. I begin to lift, lift him, Charlie. Praise God. He showed up, didn't he? I want him all again. He showed up. Praise God. But it don't matter. He can take my little bit, Charlie. Praise God. Make a big thing. That's right. Make a little snowball. Make a little snowball. He's able. You know. Amen. And both that will be healed. Bless God. You begin to watch that thing grow. I praise God. Amen. A little snowball got big. Bless God. That's about how it is with God. And it is about a little bit, brother. Amen. Just a little bit. Praise God. God's saying, well, think that makes something big out of it. Yeah. Glory to God. Woo! I, I feel good tonight. Praise God. That's good. I'm glad I'm on the rock. Bless God. Amen. I, I said, praise God. It's the Lord saying. Glory to God. I've got to have him, Charlie. I want him every day. Amen. Every minute of my life, I've got to have him. I, I don't want him to ever leave me alone. Praise God. I want him to hold on to my hand like yes, a little sir. boy. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because it's all I have. Praise the Lord. Glory to God, church. We ought to shout about it. Praise God. We've got to have him. Bless God today. More precious than gold. More precious than diamonds. More precious than ruby. Woo! Glory to God, Charlie. Under the hand, bless God, live in a box. In the alley, take more praise God than I hug you. Amen. Bless God. And go to be the Lord. And to be the biggest man. Bless him, Lord. Or the things that are, bless God, because if you tie it on, you ain't got nothing but the hand. You're right. Praise Amen. God, I'll have to go to hell. I love that song y'all sang. I'm going go to, to hell. hell. I'm going somewhere else tonight. Praise yeah, God. Yeah, I'm going to bless God. I'm just about not going to hell. Man. I want to do something for him. Amen. Praise That's God. right. I want to go for the glory That's of God. Right. I, I want to be the Praise like Lord. 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 I want to be like the Lord. Lord. I want to be like the 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 Lord. Praise God, Charlie said, Bless you, Lord man. God, I'm glad. Amen. Glory to God, I'm so glad. I can't tell you, I'm glad yeah. I am. Glory to God, I'm worthy of it. I'm so glad. Glory to God, He's still God today. Glory to God, bring mercy. Anybody else feel that way? Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Let the redeemed say so. Hallelujah. Anything else?
Amen. Bless you. Bless you, Dave. He praise the Lord. Anybody else? Go ahead. Bless you, brother. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sometimes we just get caught up in the suffering. You're right. Praise the Lord. When that scripture comes to my mind, I was reminded. I might know him. Bless you, brother. The power of his resurrection. Amen. Holy Ghost is coming and wrapped his arm around me, and I'm so thankful for that. He knows what we need. Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. We'll have to suffer some, but we might know him in that resurrection power. Amen. 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 Boy, oh, boy. Ain't that something? Yeah, anything else? All right, unspoken tonight, Brother Dustin, you want to leave? Sir? All right, you can do that. Praise the Lord. Anybody else need to be anointed? I'll say this again. It used to be a common thing. <laughs> we used to have prayer line all the time. Amen. People get in the prayer line. If you need to come, you ought to come tonight. If I was ashamed of this, I just I wouldn't do none of the rest of it. Praise the Lord. I believe this. It's like I knew the rest. Amen. Don't you? Amen. Amen. Anybody else need to be anointed tonight? All right. Come on, Steve. We got it in here. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Our most Heavenly Father, 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 Father,
amen, maybe two, and then we're going to have a word of prayer. And after we do that, amen, uh, I, I believe God's going to help somebody tonight. Amen. The Bible said, would you stand with me? Out of reverence for the reading of God's word. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said in verse number 9, I, I, Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto God and set a watch I, against them day and night because of them. I, I, and Judah said, The strength I, of the bearers of burdens is decayed. I, I, and there is much rubbish I, I, so that we are not able to build the wall. I, I, Heavenly Father, most righteous God, I, I, Lord, as we come once again tonight, I, I, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that name, I, all that's above every name, God, I thank you I, I, for what I've already felt here tonight, God, and I believe. I, I, amen. God, this is something. I, I've done help somebody. I, I want to reach down and anoint me tonight. I, and what will not fail to give you the praise, I, I, the honor and the glory, for it's in the name of Jesus. I, I, I pray tonight. I, I, amen and amen. I, I, you can be seated. I, amen. If I had to title this tonight, I, amen, I'd like to title this I, I, Dealing with the Junk That's in Your Life. I, I, dealing with the Junk That's in Your Life. I, uh, we know from the story here in the book of Nehemiah uh, uh, that he had a great burden to see the walls uh, uh, built back up around Jerusalem. Uh, uh, but they'd come to a point uh, uh, that he said that the work, uh, uh, amen, had begun to cease uh, and he began to inquire. Uh, uh, and he said the strength of the bearers of burdens uh, uh, has decayed uh, uh, and there is much rubbish uh, uh, so that we cannot build the wall. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes little things I, I can begin to pile up in your life I, and if you don't deal with it I, I, amen it'll stifle what you're wanting to do I, I, now I know in my life I, I, you know I've got a desk there in my home I, and I put all kinds of junk mail there I, I, but there comes a point I, I, that you've got to throw the trash away I, I, so you can find what's important I, I, in your life I, I believe brother Charlie that we're in a time tonight I, I, to where there's so many little things I, a lot of trash I, a lot of rubbish are piling up I, I, the folks have become kind of sluggish I, I, they become heavy burden I, I, but I still believe tonight I, I, we can rise and build I, I, for if God be for us I, I, who then I, I can be against us tonight Hallelujah. I, I, you might say, how do I do it? I, amen. I believe the first thing that it takes I, I, in dealing with the trash, I, I, you got to put it somewhere. I, I, you can't hide it. I, I, you can't try to put it to the side and say, well, I, I, I'll just forget about that. I, I, we know the Bible said, be sure I, I, your sins will find you out. I, I, but I'm thankful I, I, when they were down in the land of Egypt. I, I, brethren, that destroyed story was coming. I, I, God told them what they needed to do. I, I, brother, they had to take the blood of the lamb I, I, and apply it to the doorpost I, I, and the lid of their home. I, and I believe if we're ever going to deal with the junk that's in our life, I, I, it still takes the blood. I, I, amen. You can't live good enough I, I, on your own to do it by yourself. I, I, but amen, you need help tonight I, I, that can only come from above. I, I, Hallelujah. I, I said there are a lot of folks tonight I, I, trying to survive I, I, without that blood on their life. I, I, but I'm glad when he sees me I, I, that he sees the blood of the Lamb. I, I, amen. That have been saved I, I, by the amazing grace of God. I, and I'm excited about that tonight. Amen, because nothing can ever get to me that can't first I, or doesn't first have to pass through him. I, I, there's protection in that blood. I, I, amen, but I, I'm afraid that we're in a time where folks have tried I, I, to make it optional. I, I to say, well, just be a good person. I, I, but the Bible said you must be born again. I, I, that devil, he ain't afraid of you. I, I, amen, but he is afraid of the God that lives within you. I, I, that's why the 
Bible said, greater is he who lives within me than he that's in the world. Aren't you glad that God can help you deal with the rubbish, with the junk, the distractions that the devil wants to use, amen, to distract you with? Amen, think about it. I, I, but I love how in Deuteronomy chapter 7, I, I, he tells us here in verse number 26, I, I, neither shalt thou bring an abomination I, I, into thine house. I, I, you got to keep it on the outside. I, I, amen, I believe God still wants a holy I, I family, a holy living. I, I, for God is holy and without holiness, I, I, no man shall see the light. I, a lot of times the reason why I, I, that we have a lot of rubbish mount up in our life. I, I, we bring it right into where we're living. I, I, but it ain't welcome at my house. I, I, amen. I said the only thing I want at my house. I, I, amen. It's the Holy Ghost. I, I, the Word of God. I, I, amen. There's too many things out there I, I, to try to distract. I, I, but I've got heaven on my mind this morning. I, I, amen. When I got up, I, I, amen. I thought what a wonderful day. I, I, for the Lord to come back. I, I, amen. Are you ready? I, I'm glad I'm ready. I've got the old account. I, I settled I, and settled long ago. I, but seems like folks are bringing the accursed thing I, I, right into their own home. I, and they're wondering why there's so much stuff piling up. I, I, amen. Listen. I, I, you've got to keep that door closed. I, I, amen. Not everything I, I belongs in your life. I, I, the Bible said give no place to the devil. I, I, amen. Whenever he comes, I, I, trying to get in your mind. I, I make you worry about how you're going to make it. I, I, amen. You just remind him. I, I, that, amen, I'm not my own. I've been bought with a price. I, I'm not with corruptible things I, I, such as silver and gold, I, I, but by the precious I, I blood of the Lamb. I, I, so it takes the blood. I, I, but you also, you got to keep it on the outside. I, I, it don't belong I, I, in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. We find from reading how the book of Joshua chapter 7 how what it costed Achan how getting a hold of the accursed thing how he thought nobody knew how but God knows how you may think nobody sees what you're doing tonight how but there's an old sin I amen and it costed them the victory and then what a terrible price that he had to pay because the Bible said in Romans 6 and 23 I, I, that the wages I, of sin is death. I, I, but the gift of God I, I, is eternal life I, I, through Jesus Christ our Lord. I, amen. I sit back in the days of the old covenant I, I, when they found that idol, I, I, they would have tear it up. I, I, amen. Burn it with fire. I, I grind it to powder. I, I bury the ashes. I, I, brother, we don't need to leave the I, I, things of this world are sitting around. I, I, to distract us I, I, but we need to look up I, I, like David who said I'll lift my eyes I, I, under the hills from whence coming my help I, I, my help I, I come up from the Lord I, I, the maker I, whoo, I, I said the maker I, of heaven I, I, and the earth Amen, but sometimes, I, amen, I get all kinds of calls. I, I, folks saying, I, I mean, man, it's just when it rains, I, I, it pours. I, I, there's just so much going on in my life. I, I, well, you got to take those things. I, I put them in the garbage can. I, I, you got to take them I, I, to an altar. You got to dispose of them. I, I get them out of your house. I, I have the blood applied. I, I, but I love what David said, and man, it's so simple. I, uh, he said in Psalm 56, uh, uh, verse number 3, uh, uh, what time I'm afraid, uh, I'll trust in you. Uh, uh, amen. He ain't never failed me yet, Brother Brandon. Uh, uh, so why should I let a situation uh, uh, that comes up unexpected uh, uh, cause me to worry myself to death? Uh, amen. And lose my joy. Uh, uh, knowing the Bible said uh, uh, that the joy of the Lord uh, uh, is our strength. Uh, uh, Hello, 
somebody tonight. Hey, Amen. I said, what time? I'm afraid. I'm just going to trust him. Amen. Because, hey, man, I know that he's able to keep that which I committed to him against that day. My God's never lost a battle. He ain't about to start now. But amen, when you get knee deep in trash, amen, sometimes the job can look so big you think you ain't ever gonna get done. You ever been there? Amen, ever had a job to do? And I, amen, if it was just half of what it was, I, I, you'd have been a lot more encouraged. I'm I thinking, man, I can do this. I, I, but then when you begin to look and it looks so much bigger, I, I, you think I ain't ever going to be able to get all this done. I, I, but friend, whenever you're weak, I, I, he's strong. I, I, and he can do what you and I can't do. I, and so if you'll just surrender your life, I, I put it in the hand of one I, I, that's a able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think. My friend, you won't regret it. I said, what time? I'm afraid. I'm just going to remind myself I can trust him. Our man's let me down. Our friends have let me down. But I can tell you like David, I was young, but now I'm old and I ain't never seen the righteous forsaken to receive big and bread. I, you can still I, I trust in the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. I, amen. But folks want to act like, well, I, I, amen, I've done everything I know to do. I, I, well, the Bible said when you've done all, I, amen, stand. I, amen. Having your loin skirt about with truth. I, I haven't done all to stand. Don't sit down. I, I, don't back up. Don't give in. I, I, it's a battle, but keep digging. I, I, amen. Somebody said, what do you do when things get tough? I, I, you keep praying. I, I keep believing. I, I, and the same God that was big enough I, I, to reach way down below the bottom I, I, into that heart will pit I, I, and save your soul I, I, is surely I, I, big enough to move in your situation. I, I, don't let the devil lie to you tonight. I, I, God still got the power. I, amen. I, I said he said the thief coming not I, I, but for to steal I, I kill I, I, and to destroy I, I, but I I'm come I, I, that you might have life I, and that you might have it I, I more abundantly. Amen. So if you want to deal with the junk, I, I believe there's some steps there. I, amen. I, I said, don't let it overwhelm you. The enemy wants to overwhelm you. I, I, but David said in Psalm 61 and 2, I, I, when my heart with him is overwhelmed, I, I lead me to the rock that's higher than I. I. In other words, whenever you get to the point, I, I, you can't see your way clear, get to the house of God. I, I get into the presence I, I, of the one, I, I, amen, who said, where the spirit of the Lord is I, I, there's liberty I, amen I said man it makes a difference I, I, when he I, I passes by amen. Woo! Yeah. hallelujah I, amen I mean you, you have to be careful I, I, you get around the wrong kind of an environment I, and their folks will bury you before you're dead Hey man, don't say, Lord, you look terrible. I, I don't see how you're making man. If it had been me, I'd have given up a long time ago. I, I mean, they're out there. The devil I, I will put people in your life, I, I, in your path to discourage you I, and I tell you it can't be done. I, I, but my Bible said I can do all things I, I, through Christ I, I, who strengthens me. I, I, friend, there's never been a valley so low I, or a mountain too high I, I, that my my God couldn't work. I, I, so David said, when my heart within me is overwhelmed, I, I just lead me to that rock. Get me there. I, I get me to the house of God. Don't lay out. I, I, that's why he said in Hebrews 10 and 25, I, I, let us not forsake I, I, the assembling of ourselves together. I, amen. It's the matter of some is. I, I, even the more so as we see that day approaching. I, I said, I believe tonight. I, I, when you're dealing with junk, I, I, you still you don't need to be in the house of God. But you know that devil, he'll come. He'll say, now you just stay home tonight until you get this worked out. 
Amen. Before you know it, that one night, ha, ha, playing hooky turns into two nights. Ha, amen. A week, a month. Ha, and before you know it, you're backslid. You're gone. Ha, ha, but I believe tonight, ha, ha, if there's ever a time that you need ha, ha, to be in the house of God, it's whenever you're fighting something. Ha, ha, when things are piling up around you. Ha, ha, because, listen, ha, ha, amen. The Bible said, though we walk in the flesh, ha, ha, we were not after the flesh. Ha, ha, for the weapons of our warfare. Ha, ha, they're not carnal, ha, ha, but they're mighty through God. Ha, aren't you thankful for that tonight? Ha, I said they're mighty through God. Ha, ha, to the pulling down of strongholds. Ha, ha, he's able tonight. Ha, I feel led to come tell you ha, ha, that God is able to help you deal ha, ha, with the junk that you're fighting. Hallelujah. I, I know the devil don't like that. I, I, but it's true. I, I, he'd love for you to find I, I so much to see around you. I, I just like whenever Elisha I, amen caught the manna from Elijah. I, I, some of the servants of the prophets were there I, and they said well you know maybe I, I, God really didn't take him on the way home. I, I, maybe he just set him up on a mountain I, or in some valley. I, I, you let us go look for him alright. Elisha said don't go. I, I, but they kept urging him until he got ashamed and he said alright go ahead and go. I, I, the world would love to put pressure on you out of where you would just fold up hang your harp on the willow but if you're saved tonight and everything else is falling down around you still got a reason to rejoice I said you still got a right to raise your hand. Ha, ha, amen. And praise the name of the Lord. Ha, ha, because it's not about material gain. Ha, ha, you live under a cliff. Ha, ha, drinking water out of the brook. Ha, ha, but if your name's been written down ha, ha, in that Lamb's book of life. Ha, ha, brother, you got something the world didn't give you. Ha, and thank God. Ha, I said the world. Ha, I cannot take it away. Amen. We've made this thing about how we feel. I, I, but amen. Regardless of how I feel, I, I, he said, let everything I, I, that had breath, I, I praise the Lord. Have you got battles? I, I, yeah, sometimes. I, I, but I still got breath. I, I, so he has called me I, and he has called you to raise our hand I, I, in the spite of the adversity of the enemy I, and say, God is good I, I, all the time I, and all all the time, I, I, God I, I is good. Hallelujah. Amen. I began to go through this last night when the Lord I, I dropped it into my heart. I, I, amen. I, I, not only do we need to be in the house of God, we need to get our thoughts I, I lined up with the word of God. I, I, you want peace in your life? I, I, don't let your mind run off onto the wrong things. I, I, the Bible said in Isaiah 26 and 3, I, I, thou will keep him I, I, in perfect peace I, whose mind is stayed upon thee. Ha, amen. Have you ever just stopped ha, and thought about the goodness of God? Ha, I've held that, amen, a holy God. Ha, I could look down to a sinful heart, ha, amen, and not just wipe you away, but extend the hand of mercy, ha, amen, and wash you in that red blood ha, and make you whiter than snow. Ha, ha, man, it's an amazing thing. Ha, and if he never did another single ha, a solitary thing for me, ha, ha, then I ought to be able to stand up here tonight I, I, and sing I am blessed I am blessed I, I, woo, I, I, every day that I live I, I'm blessed why I, I, because this ain't all there is I, he said in John 14 I, I, let not your heart be troubled I, I, neither let it be afraid you believe in God I, I believe also in me for in my father's house I, I, there are many mansions I, and behold I go away to prepare a place for you I, and if I go away. I'll come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, out there you may be also. But I said we've got something that we can hang on to tonight. He's coming again. And my salvation was not just a one time experience that just been there, done that, and that was it. It is continued. Amen. I said he walks with me and he talks with me. And I find him to be just as real today as he was the night that I walked the aisle. 
Amen. And even more so because I, I, he's a very present help in a time of trouble. I, amen. And the more troubles come, I, I, the more I'm reaching up I, and I'm reaching out to the one I, I, that said you can make it. You don't have to let it keep piling up. I, I, amen. Sometimes I, I, we have that procrastination thing. I, I'll deal with this tomorrow. I, I've got a little work building out there. I, I, you know, do a lot of little projects whenever I get a time. I, I sometimes the little things, I, I, they can begin to just pile up. I, and eventually you ain't got room enough to work. I, I, amen. Don't put it off. I, I, amen. If there's something in your life I, and God begins to deal with your heart, I, I come get it right tonight. I, I, amen. Not a better time than right now. All right. Otherwise it'll get so heavy. Yeah. Amen. You, you'll be surprised how it'll slow you down and hinder Hey man, it's just like I told him when my little boy was little. Man, I I have him on my on my hip. Hey man, still preach with him. I'd be pretty well challenged to preach with him on my hip now, yeah. because he's grew quite a bit. Hey man, hallelujah. Ha, and that's what I'm saying, that problems, if you don't deal with them, ha, ha, they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and finally, ha, ha, it'll stop you from going forward. Ha, ha, but listen, church, God did not call us ha, ha, to come so far and then sit down beside the road. Ha, ha, amen. And just be like blind Bartimaeus and become a beggar. Ha, ha, but he wants us to make it. Ha, ha, the Bible said it's not his will ha, ha, that any should perish. I, I, but that all should come into repentance. I, and the same one that was there for you in the beginning, I, I, he's still there for you tonight. I, I, you just got to call on him. I, I, for he said, call unto me and I will answer thee I, and show thee great and mighty things I, I, that thou knowest not. Amen. Woo! We're quiet tonight. Hey man, it's all right anyhow. Amen, because God wants us to know you don't have to let things just keep piling up. Amen. I remember when I was a young man, I, I seemed like folks went to the prayer line just all the time. But now we want, you know, things have to be pretty bad sometimes before we'll move. Amen. We shouldn't have to have our world falling down around us before we'd move. Amen. One little thing should come, and amen, that should motivate us to say, you know what? I, I ain't going to carry this. I, I've seen men, you know, preachers. I, I first think when they get ready to preach, they lay their watch off. I thought, what hindrance? I, amen. Other than the time is a watch. I, I laid their keys out. I, I start emptying their pockets because they didn't want even just a little thing I, I, to distract them. I, and if they could do that, I, I, amen, over a natural little thing, then how much more? I, I should not, you and I, I, I learn to cast all of our care I, upon him. I, I know him that he cares for us. Amen. Woo! Right. Praise the Lord. Right. Hallelujah in the house. Amen. God love me if you're going to heaven. Praise the Lord. Ha. Amen. Somebody said, now nah, preachers are meddling. Ha. Amen. I, I go a lot of places. Ha. And you know, I've had pastors tell me, ha. amen, as long as you preach it, you know, nice and sweet. Ha. Ha. Amen. That's good. But if you get over here, you're going to start meddling. Ha. We don't want that. I said, that's why the word's in the mess that it's in. Ha. Ha. There's folks carrying around things. Ha. Ha. Just like the children of Israel ha. Ha. that had a job to do. And they said, you know what? The strength. Ha. At the Paris of Burton says decayed and there's just so much rubbish I, I, that we can't build the wall. I, I, we need a good trash day to get rid of the things I, I, that are holding us back. Amen. Amen. We need to get a hold of the power of God tonight because that's the only thing that's going to change this world. It's not educated preaching. Ha, amen. Not enticing words of man's wisdom. Ha, ha, but friend, we need, amen, a move of God. Ha, ha, something that's going to let us know ha, ha, that this is a necessity. Ha, ha, amen. We need him. Ha, ha, somebody said, well, that's that, that's good that you found something that works good for you. Ha, ha, but ha, I don't want that. Ha, ha, well, maybe you're not low enough yet. Ha, ha, but there's going to come a time. Ha, ha, amen. That life's going to get 
get to where you can't handle it, and then what are you going to do? Amen. Boy, I'm glad tonight that whenever things get out of my hand, I can call on Jesus. Amen. And the Bible said the effectual, a fervent prayer of a righteous man, a village much. That promise is still very much alive for you and I today. That means there comes a time that I've got things I've got to deal with if I want God to hear my prayer. Amen. Amen. David said in the 60th Psalm, he said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Don't shut me down. I said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will, will not hear me. I, I so, amen, I've got to keep coming back I, I like old apostle Paul I, amen and I die daily I, I, but thank God whenever I put this old man on the altar and I put the trash I, I, where it belongs I, I, amen thank God I can go on I, I knowing I, I'm focusing on what God's wanting to do in my life I, I, today tomorrow and the next day yeah, really. Woo! Come on. Yeah. amen but sometimes we get in a hurry those of you who have kids ought to know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Amen. And they throw things near the trash, but not in the trash. Yeah. Amen. And they think, well, close is good enough. Ha. Ha. But it's not because it begins to still pile up. Ha. Ha. But when old mama comes along, she says, hey, ha. hey, man, you come in here. Ha. Ha. Is this yours? Ha. Ha. Where does it belong? It don't belong beside the can. Ha. It belongs in the can. Ha. Yeah. And hey, man, I'm oh. telling you, ha. I rubbish your things I, I, that you just got no use for. I, I, but if you're going to get rid of the rubbish, you've got to put it in the right place. Yeah, right. Bring your burdens. Come unto the Lord. That's why the Bible said in James 5 and 13, is there any afflicted among you? He didn't say let him complain. He said let him pray. Amen. So God's done giving us that. What am I going to do? Pray. Amen. I got a good pastor friend. I, amen. Having some issues, you know, in his church. I, and he said, what do you think I ought to do? I said, pray. Amen. amen. He wanted to tell me how to handle it. Amen. For me to tell him how to do, you know, in the situation. I, I said, listen, if you'll pray, God will show you. I, I, amen. God will lead you. I, I, but then he says, whenever I, I, it gets to the point maybe that you can't pray for yourself. I, I, he says, is there any sick among you? I, I let them call for the elders of the church. I, if you've got rubbish to deal with and you can't get through yourself, I, I, you call on them elders. I, I just we did a few minutes ago. I, I, amen. Brother Charlie's wife. I, I, she said, hey, I want to be anointed. I, I, she needed a little extra help. I, I see, that's why God has set us in the body. I, I, so we can pray one for another. I, I bear one another's burdens. I, and so fulfill ye the law of Christ. I, I, hallelujah tonight. I, I thank God for the anointing I, I, that you can get I, I, in the house of God. I remember growing up in the church, they'd always said, we're going to anoint you for the healing of your body, for the comforting of your conscience, for the strengthening of your faith. Amen. And I thought, boy, that's where it really hits us at sometimes. Sometimes we need that healing. But sometimes we just need that reassurance that God's listening. I've come to tell you tonight, he's listening. Never said a prayer that ever got by him, amen. Never said a prayer that he didn't answer. Sometimes the answer was no, wasn't what I wanted, but he always answered. Yeah. And so tonight, if you've got some rubbish in your life, you don't just have to keep letting it pile up. This is not quicksand, amen. But God has given us the key. If we want to find deliverance, we've got to go to him. Amen. amen. How often that we... Uh, make it harder on ourselves. I, I, Brother Charlie, because we just try to carry it around. I, I, amen. We try to deal with it in and of ourselves. I, I, amen. And the enemy just keeps getting I, I, more intense. I, I, but friend, when we will turn it over to God like the Apostle Paul said, I, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God that you present your body. I, amen. A living sacrifice. I, a holy I, and acceptable unto God which is your reasonable servant. 
service. I, I meant when you give him the keys, God knows how to handle it. Most of you know that I'm getting ready to go to Africa, amen, here next month. I've had so many questions. Folks asking, aren't you afraid of riding on that plane? I was sharing with Brother David. I said, the Bible said, he that seeketh to save his life shall lose it. I said, there's so many people running around trying to find their life here that they never step out of the boat and they're never satisfied. But he said, if you'll lose your life for my sake, you'll find it. And so God is challenging us tonight to get out of our comfort zone and get back on the altar. I believe if we want the fire to fall, it won't fall on an empty altar. There's got to be a sacrifice. And so tonight as I come to a close, amen, just a short little message, what God put on my heart. Amen. If you've got rubbish in your life, amen, here's the place to deal with, not out there. Amen. I, I, I met so many folks that, amen, try to fix it themselves, but it reminds me of that old song, if you tarry until you're better, then you'll never come at all. So tonight I want to ask us as we bow our heads, nobody looking around, is there some junk in your life that maybe you're having a hard time dealing with? Amen. Is there something in your life that you're trying to deal with all by yourself? Amen. Tonight if you just slip your hand up, and by doing so, say, pray for me. I'd like to pray for you tonight. Maybe you're here and you're lost without God. Maybe you've never been saved and you've tried to, you know, be a good person. Maybe you've even come, joined the church and been baptized. But deep down in your heart tonight, if you really ask yourself, am I ready to meet God? You'd have to say, I'm not really where I need to be. Is that you tonight? Would there be one anywhere? Just slip that hand up, put it right back down. God knows tonight where you're living and God wants you to know that you can come to him and find the help that you need. Let him be that present help. Let him be that one that will help you deal with the trash, the rubbish that's in your life. And if you'll do that, I believe you can walk out of here satisfied. Amen. I believe you can say like David, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go up unto the house of the Lord. God bless you tonight is my prayer. I believe in prior tonight it changes things. Amen. Amen. I believe it if we would just turn it over to the Lord, He'd make everything better. And like Brother Blake said, sometimes He'll tell us no. And that's all right too. Amen. Because He's got our best interest in mind. I'm thankful for that tonight. I'm sitting here thinking how blessed we was. I sit over there thinking how blessed we was while Brother Blake's preaching. There's a lot of churches that's doing away with old time preaching. They don't want it no more, but there's a lot still left it does, and I'm thankful for them tonight. But as we go on and as we live on and we live older and for the Lord, you know, don't come back in the next 20 or some years or 10 or 5 or whatever, it's going to be less. And people begins to be more callous to this book that's alive. You know, it's just like we treat, we treat moms and dads and sisters, brothers, whoever they are, we just get used to them being there. Yeah. And then when they're gone, we try to appreciate them. We appreciate this. Amen. A lot of people don't have it. And Brother Blake's fixing to go across seas and, and probably get to preach to a lot of people that don't know who Jesus is. And maybe even entertain people that's never, ever heard of who Jesus is. We get a chance to do a great work for the Lord. I'm so thankful. Amen. There's still somebody wanting him tonight. And, and I want him in my life. And uh, you want him in yours.
I mean, that's the question. I mean, we all got to answer that for ourselves. We can't answer for everybody else. And I mean, it's just up to us tonight. But I was thinking about this song, and we sang it a whole lot around here. When I look around and see the good things he does for me, I know I'm unworthy of them all. And his blessing he freely gives I owe. My life to him I've got so much to thank him for. Can you sing it real loud? And I've got so much to thank him for, so much to pray. Will you see? He has been so good to me. And when I think of what he's done and where, what he do? Brought me from I've got so much to thank him for. This is what Brother Blake was talking about. How sometimes why on this way I kneel. Get rid of the junk. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. That's you and you and you. Someday I reach sweet heaven shore. Oh, please let me kneel once more. I've got so much. How about you? To thank him for. Real loud now. And I've got so much to thank him for. So much to praise him for. Will you see? He has been so good to me. When I think of what he's done. He's brought me from I've got so much to thank him for. I like that song because it's a personal thing. You work out your own soul salvation with fear and with trembling. Amen. And I'm so thankful tonight that uh, it is a personal thing. And amen. We got to work it out for ourselves. And that, I like that old song, but I've got so much to thank Amen. you for. Yes. I can say you do, and you can say I do, but I know I do. Amen. Yes. Amen. I know where God's brought me from, and I know where I don't want to go back to. Now, you don't want to go back to who you was, do you? Uh-huh. Where you didn't care, you didn't love nobody, didn't care nobody. You won't be. You won't be what God wants you to be, surely, tonight. Uh-huh. Amen. We might just be a little bit down here, and you might just not do a whole lot, or you might not feel worthy sometimes, but... You're the exact one that God wants to use. <laughs> right. Amen. Little as much if God's in it now. Amen. Praise right. the Lord tonight. So never discredit yourself. If you're doing it through Christ, hey, you can do all things through That's Him. Right. Amen. So we're hard on ourselves, ain't we, sometimes? We I try to be myself on me. Not on everybody else, but on me. Uh, because I've got to work out me. Amen. And uh, but I'm like Brother Blake. Man, what a great message that was. Get the rubbish out. Get the stuff out that hinders us. And, and man, I'll tell you, I've got, I got, I got, I'm getting rid of some stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just, uh, every day you find yourself thinking of something that you, you really don't need. I mean, spiritually, we carry things, don't we? Spiritually, the mind's the battlefield. Devil's in it all the time. And, you know, the old saying is, idle time's the devil's time. It certainly is. We need to occupy ourselves, don't we? In the Lord. I always keep a good good song in our heart. We appreciate Brother Blake coming tonight. We're going to take him up a love offering, go toward his trip uh, to Africa. And he's got a he's got a short little thing here he wants to do for us before we leave. We'll just uh, brother, we'll just go off, okay? And we'll let Brother uh, Blake come up and do what he needs to do. And 
And that way, you know, if anybody wants to know what he's doing, they, they can come to their church and nom him. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. Hey, man, we'll go off and uh, let Brother Josh come out here and see what Brother Blake's got. Amen. All right, so Brother Dustin, you don't come, and Kobe, or Kobe, yeah. I said Dustin because I didn't know.